Today's word is reciprocity. It's recipro- it's reciprocity. Don't ask me to do a damn thing that you wouldn't do for me. Jokes keeps writing themselves. Now the shared room posted this. Round two, young Miami and Gina Hun tossed online after Gina trolled Miami about Didi's baby. The short clip shows Gina applying lipstick as CEO trails. Okay, cool plays in the background. A few seconds in, Gina looks at the camera and mouths the lyrics. I.e., you doing all this extra ish, you stupid bee. But her captions on the video on Instagram solidified that the shade was meant for Miami. First in the video, she wrote, When she beefing, okay, with you over a ninja emoticon, but whole time he got somebody else pregnant. Then in the video's Insta caption, she wrote, City girls down. 1000 melting emoticon face this is this woman is going to be a problem for Didi because she seems to be seeking notoriety this is who they choose she's going to be a problem she has hit the jackpot and she's feeling herself however I do believe that this all came about because of what Didi said about Miami when he defended her against DJ academics now who looks unhinged and upset here where's where's a zesty DJ academics when you need him. She seems to be very bothered that he acknowledged and he decided to defend his woman. Yes, I said it because he's acknowledged that she's his woman and he's defending her profusely. I, I guess this is a very hard one for someone who was hidden for nine months to take. Now know your role, know your place. Ladies, this is why you should not talk to the side chick. Well, so this is what happens when a side chick is elevated to baby mama. So this side chick preference is now elevated to a baby mama status. A.A. the chosen baby mama. But you're important. Okay. <laughs> now this circus of a back and the fort came about after Diddy announced that he had a new baby a baby girl by this woman after as always staying true to form the internet sleuths detectives and they're very effective went out doing their scavenging and found out who the woman is so this is the woman and you know they said according to the baby's birth certificate love sean combs was born october 15th in newport beach Diddy is listed as the father to the, to the child of this 20 year old, 28 year old Dana Tran, the volunteer baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these people live their lives out on social media. So it came as kind of a shock to those who still have the capacity to be surprised by the actions of these people that he had a new baby. Because, I mean, Diddy is flamboyant and he is, you know very um he's a he's a he's a ladies man Didi has always been very out there with women and has not professed to be um faithful to any person i don't see Didi as a monogamous person however no one knew that he had a baby on on the way so when he came out and made that statement obviously it took some people by surprise now young miami automatically everybody turned their attention to young miami you know it's like what's happening here isn't he your man and he's out there having children so what's up dj academics and a supposed man hopped onto his social media because i guess he had time you know he he's not too busy and decided to engage young miami throwing shots at her now i'm not going to go through the messages i'll allow you to do so and then i'll come back with further comment
you saw how juvenile and idle this male is? Now, young Miami, you have to learn something. You have to learn the art of not engaging bottom feeders. You should not put your energy into places that is just going to deplete you of your positive energy and trigger you to a point just to get a rise out of you. Now, DJ Academics is doing his job. Clowns work too. This is a whole clown. You have to learn these things because, and to all the other people that are engaging you, trying to dissect and define what your relationship is with Didi, I did a video a long time ago where I did a breakdown on what I, 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 how I interpret your relationship. And I think you guys should check it out. Why, if someone's relationship does not follow what you might deem as, as how a relationship should be? Because, I mean, we have to admit that most times people, you, you say things about other people's relationship and their lives and your life is so messed up. But because you're not living it publicly, no one knows. You sit up here and you judge people. You say nasty things to people and then you go back to your miserable lives. But this is how you get off. This is how you get rid of your frustration by attacking other people because this is the life you really want. Some of you don't even have a significant other. No one to even come to your defense. No one to even say, okay, yes, I'm with this person. Because you know every one of you live your lives out on social media and it hurts you. Because I know people who are very hurt and, and depressed that their man is not posting their pictures on social media. Or their woman is not posting them. The, the superficial energy. And then you try to, you project you project if young Miami is happy and like I said check out that video sometimes in relationships it depends on what you want and if she's getting from it what she desires why is it your business I mean it is okay for people because I mean they're living their lives out publicly and it's okay for you to have an opinion but this is something as I'm going to talk about it is the fixation that sometimes boggles the mind it is unhealthy. It is an unhealthy fixation. It is like I was thinking in terms of Kiki Palmer, right? Decided not to do a video on her situation because I think it's very ridiculous how some of you have been coming at this woman because she chose, chose to have a baby and she's not yet married. She's, and you keep labeling her a single mother. No, she's an unwed mother. She's not a single mother. According to what we see, the person is, is very much in, in her life. They may not represent who, you know, someone you think she should be with or what you think should be, you know, a man who is with a woman um, of a certain caliber. But if you're doing it and if you're saying these things with, you know, with concern and so forth, I still do believe that that is presumptuous of you. She's grown. And like I, I always say, if there, there, there are consequences for our actions as adults, you have to face the consequences for, you know, um, decisions you would have made consciously. But some of you, like I said, you have a, a, a fixation and you get off on these things because it's like therapy for you. You're miserable in your real lives. So you come online, you come on social media and you attack people. It is unhealthy. Seek help. And to black women, try to be better. Try to think differently. I know we have been socialized. Some of you have been socialized differently because of your upbringing and, and beliefs and, and, and that indoctrination transcends generations. But now that you're grown and you have access to information that is going to allow you to evolve as a person, as an individual, you need to absorb that information to be better. You know, try to explore your options. Do not get bogged down with one thing and you're not happy. Remember, this is all about self first. And sometimes you, your, your outlook on life is very draconian. Even though you might be younger people, but like I said, because of the indoctrination and so forth, it transcends generations. Read more. Find new friends. 
you know, explore. You know, stop being so dismissive and pretentious and you know that you're suffering inside and you're struggling. Just try to use other people's experiences to better your life. If you think that they're doing whatever over there and you do not subscribe to that, well then try to do better. Now listen, and I'm speaking specifically to the ladies. I'm a woman, so I'm always going to address this to the women. I want you to understand that we do not live in a one-size-fits-all world of experiences. Stop condemning publicly what you know you condone privately. As always, stay safe and be self-aware. See you in the next one.